Well, you guys got another video here for you now a couple of days ago people were talking about the uh, Xeon processors on our discord server and they were asking basically which ones you can use for gaming and it's going to depend on how much money you want to spend and uh, whether you want to go down the second hand uh, or used parts route because that is exactly what you're going to be doing when you're buying uh, CPUs and motherboards and RAM of this uh, era so you can see here I'm going to pick out some CPUs you can use for uh, gaming with the Xeon processors now you can see we have got the Xeon X3440 now that's a very good cheap affordable processor which you can use for gaming purposes now as you can see they do have different types of uh, variants here you might see one that's uh, uh, is this one yeah, there we go X3430 so what will happen is uh, the actual gigahertz will change and stuff like that. And also you might get a different cache and bits like that. So just be careful on which ones you buy. They all pretty much will play games anyway. So once you're going in at this sort of level, the, the more money you spend, obviously the better the uh, CPU is going to be. So you can see these ones here will still play games. No problems whatsoever. The X3440 is a pretty good uh, gaming uh, CPU and it's still pretty decent in 2019 if you're only playing games now you can see here the LGA 1156 uh, socket which is the uh, motherboard which you're going to need to purchase so here is your CPU it's going to cost you seven pounds and 92 pence which is an absolute bargain uh, for a CPU that can play uh, all the latest games here so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the motherboards that you're going to need to try to find now on AliExpress here, you can see they do a H55 motherboard, which is your motherboard you're going to need to slot that CPU into. Now the prices on some sort of Xeons and motherboards are going to vary in prices, so do your research. Some are going to be better overclockers than others. If you are looking to overclock your CPU, you're going to need to make sure you get a better uh, motherboard uh, for that CPU so you can get better overclocking out of it. And it's always advisable to uh, get good reliable RAM as well. Now you can't just go out and buy any old RAM. You're going to need to buy certain types of RAM and I'll show you a link at those in a second. But basically here you can see this is a pretty decent motherboard, uh, the Asus uh, motherboard here and uh, these are sold at £61.91. Now, if you're looking at this one, this is a Chinese brand motherboard. If you don't really care and you just want to work, work, get the thing working and play games, then you can go ahead and buy something like this. I would much prefer to buy something like this, to be honest, because it's a branded name. It's got Asus and it's a, a, a much better branded name than uh, the, uh, the one here. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. But basically, that's what I would go with if I was going to buy a El Cheapo style just to play games with. Now, of course, when you're buying used parts, there's always a risk for failure and also uh, damage on delivery because it is coming from China. You can try to find these in the UK, but good luck at trying to find really cheap prices for these particular types of hardware and motherboards and RAMs and, and uh, CPUs because people seem to bump the price right up in the UK. Now, if you're living in America or Australia or any of those places, you might get better deals than you do in the UK. Just try and find the best, cheapest deal possible because obviously you don't want to be overspending because then it won't be worth buying these used items. You might as well go and buy a brand new system. So if you're looking here, uh, we'll look at some of these uh, motherboards here at closer detail. You've got the Asus P7H uh, H55M which is a nice motherboard for that particular CPU. So you've got yourself £61.91, and pence, and then you've gone ahead and uh, bought your CPU, which is £7.92, and pence, which is a pretty good uh, affordable uh, bargain. Now, you're going to need to uh, marry that with some RAM, and I'll show you those in a second, uh, but you will also need to get yourself a graphics card. Now, I would go with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, you might as well get 16 gigabytes of RAM. And you're also going to want to couple that with, say, a GTX 780 Ti or something along those lines, depending on how much money you want to spend, really. But you can pick those up used uh, if you look around. If you can't get one of those, you can get the RX uh, 480s and things like that with the 8 gigabytes. 
Also other graphics cards which you can pick up are the GTX uh, 970s. They will fit in there as well or the RX uh, 580s and 570s depending on how much money you want to spend on this project. So moving on to another CPU which you can use which is the Xeon X5670 which is another affordable CPU which you can use for gaming. This will play games at um, good frame rates. If you want to see me build one of these systems then let me know in the comments section below and I'll go ahead and buy some of this stuff. Put it together and uh, we'll play some games in it and i'll show you some of the frame rates i'm pretty sure if you look on the internet you'll see other youtubers that have already created uh, content on this i know brian at tech yes city does uh, a lot of this sort of stuff and also there's some other youtubers out there as well that do uh, the same sort of uh, content so take a look at their channels if you want to see gameplay and footage like that but if you want to see me build something like this then let me know in the comment section below and i'll do my best to uh, make those videos for you so what about flipping this sort of stuff can you make a profit on it well it can be done uh, and it's but it's not easy as i said when you're buying this you've got to get it as cheap as possible to make it worth doing but as you can see here we do have the processor which does come in uh, for the LGA 1366 TDP 95 watts and it is a 6 core processor with 2.9 uh, 3 gigahertz which can be overclocked and you can see here it takes the x58 motherboard so that's the sort of motherboard you're looking for now again overclocking these are going to be uh, determined on your cooler and also um, the motherboard itself and the motherboards that you're sort of looking for are these sort of typical types of motherboards and uh, these are your uh, gigabyte ga x58a ud3r and this is a motherboard you can pick up um, on AliExpress. If you're looking on eBay, just make, it, make sure that you're not buying someone else's uh, junk, basically. It's got to be a working, serviceable um, a motherboard. Make sure it comes with the I.O. shield. It will work without one of those, but it just looks really chavvy when you put that in a system and it hasn't got the backplate on there. Just make sure it's got everything that you need to get this back up and running and get it working. These are a pretty decent motherboard back in the day. And you can see this does come with the IO shield here. Moving on, you have got other boards which you can use, which are these ones here on AliExpress, which are the sort of Chinese brand motherboards. Uh, they're, they're sort of unbranded, really, I would say. Uh, they're not the main um, main sort of level like Asus, Gigabyte and uh, MSI and things like that. These are just sort of put together pretty cheaply. But there is a big price difference, as you can see here. So if you're on a tight budget and you want to keep the prices down, then you can buy something like these. You can see uh, the power mode here on this one is a 12 phase uh, on their power whereas some of the chinese models will have a really low power phase and you might struggle trying to overclock so if overclocking is your thing then be very very careful because some of the power phases on these chinese motherboards are pretty low so just bear that in mind if you are looking to overclock now it is possible but again just uh, do your research if you're not sure what to look for and you want some advice you can always pop on our Discord server and I'll do my best to try and guide you in the right direction. Now, RAM, you can pick up all sorts of RAM. There's all sorts of cheap Chinese RAM, Samsung RAM, you know, Kingston. There's loads of different stuff out there. Just try and get, uh, say, 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, if you can and uh, fill those sockets up and uh, basically you're pretty much good to go get the right type of ram as well St i would stay away with architecture now ddr2 is getting a little bit long in the tooth it's getting a bit old now try to stay in the ddr3 architecture if you can and uh, if you're going back too far it's it's a bit of a push and you're going to have a hard trouble um, selling that if you want to sell it you're basically uh, buying stuff that's uh, basically obsolete nowadays even the ddr3 stuff is sort of obsolete but you can still get away with it also what you want to do is get yourself a cooler now try and keep the price down don't go and spend in 100 pound on a cooler and stick it in a brand new uh, you know rtx graphics card in there because you're just wasting your money try and keep it cheap and cheerful and uh, basically this is what you're sort of looking at something like these cheap cheap and cheerful coolers uh, you know they'll do the job and uh, you should be pretty much good to go this will fit many different types of sockets as you can see here let me just come down 
and you can see the sockets that it supports. Uh, sometimes 2011 socket is a bit difficult uh, to uh, get to work with these sort of coolers, but this one seems to uh, support the 2011 socket, which is nice. Now moving on to this processor here, which is your 2658, they do 2657, all these different types of uh, other variants. Uh, you can see here 2680 version 2. You'll see the V2, V1, there'll be no version, and V3 going right up and they get more and more expensive uh, so just do your research but basically these are going up the food chain a little bit and you will have to start spending uh, money on this sort of uh, architecture now obviously these are still pretty good today uh, if you're looking for a good motherboard uh, for this particular processor uh, which is your uh, say for instance 2658 and uh, we'll take a look at the motherboard now. The research that I just had a little quick uh, gander at some of this stuff. And this is the motherboard that I think is a pretty decent uh, motherboard if you're looking for a motherboard um, to game on. And uh, let me just show you here. This is the motherboard here. Now what you're looking for here is all the support that you're going to need in the modern era. So you want it to be able to support uh, more RAM. You want to be able to support uh, USB 3.0, which it has here. Some of the motherboards um, from China, which is a Chinese brand. This is a Chinese brand motherboard. Why am I picking a Chinese brand motherboard? Because some of the motherboards for this CPU are just ridiculously expensive. And they are, uh, you know, like £150 and, and £200. It's just ridiculous in the UK. So you're probably best to go with something like this, a Chinese motherboard, if you are going to uh, try to get in, unless you're lucky enough to find one uh, cheap enough. It also makes sure that it does support the M.2 interface. And try to look for the power faces for the motherboard itself, which is going to allow you to overclock a lot better. Now, because you're using a Chinese motherboard, uh, it's going to uh, make sure it's got an heat sink on here to cool down uh, those um, caps and MOSFETs and chokes on there. You want to make sure that's cool because obviously if you're overclocking or it's running, a lot of these Chinese motherboards do run very hot. And that's because they've got no real sort of brand to them, really. They're just sort of uh, their own brand. You can see it looks pretty sparse on there. Um, but it's it's a, one of the better ones that I've looked at on, on their site here. And again, you can see here the seven phases uh, power supply. So you are getting seven phases. It's not the best, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, this is another good call I see here. Uh, is, that, is that a snowman or something like that? There you go. That's another good cooler uh, that you can get pretty cheap, £12.46. I don't think this one supports uh, 2011 socket. Let's have a look. No, this one doesn't support the 2011 socket um, for cooling, uh, but it does support a lot of the other versions out there. But it is uh, cheap and freely available, so if you get one of the other CPUs, you can use the uh, Snowman or something like that. Uh, for your cooling or you can use the one that I showed you earlier which is pretty good as well which should do the job so again do your research this is a pretty decent uh, c CPU as well which is the E3-1231 uh, and uh, this is another one you can use and you can get this pretty cheap as well and if you're looking for El Cheapo then this is the route that you want to go down it will work and play a lot of games and you should be pretty much uh, playing a lot of the uh, AAA listed games like PUBG and uh, if you want to play Fortnite and stuff like that it will handle those games you will need to put a good um, graphics card in there with that and the motherboard that you want for this is the Asus uh, H81M-K or something along those lines let me see if they've got one here so I can show you so basically you're just going to do a search for those particular motherboards and this is the sort of motherboard that you're looking at and as you can see here the motherboard prices are pretty good on here if you're looking on ebay you're going to end up having your pants pulled down because they're super expensive and people are charging uh, pretty much too much money uh, for used parts and you can see here this was a pretty good board back in the day and it should do a job there's only two slots on here but it will take that el cheapo uh, cpu and it will play all the latest games no problem whatsoever if you need memory they'll also link to you here and you should be okay 
uh, with that sort of stuff if you're looking for El Cheapo stuff. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. Uh, it's a pretty in-depth uh, video for all your bits that you're going to need. Uh, do your research. If you've got any questions, ask questions uh, to people that do know what they're talking about and who do know uh, what you should be buying and what you shouldn't be buying and you should be okay so remember just put it into sort of an idea of what you're trying to do so if you're just looking to play games and that's all you want to do then this stuff will be totally fine it will work and you'll get it at a fraction of the price as what it was going to cost you to build a new system and it will play all the games that you want just make sure you get the right graphics cards your 480s uh, rx 480s or you can go up up market a little bit but try and keep it sort of at that era where it's uh, cheaper and then you won't have to spend as much money otherwise if you start spending too much money you may as well end up buying a brand new system like a Ryzen build or something like that anyway that's going to be about it for this video uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this has been helpful to you I shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.